Welcome to The Right Stuff from Goldspot Pens, a podcast that raises you from pen noob to aficionado in less than 20 minutes. I'm your host, Tom Otto. In this episode, I'll discuss pros and cons of shimmer inks and show you some new pens from Sailor and Karandash. Last, I'll give away something on my desk. Washing ashore in this week's new releases is the Sailor 1911 Jellyfish Overseas Exclusive Special Edition Collection. It's a lot. But we have five pens total, of which you notice I only have four if you're watching the video here. That is one of them is out of stock right now, which is the Japanese sea nettle, which is a red one. Then you have the fried egg jellyfish, which is an amber brown with gold trim. Then you have a violet jellyfish, which is pretty self-explanatory, it's violet. Then you have a freshwater jellyfish, which is blue. And then last, you have the Owan jellyfish, which is green. All pens in this collection are the 1911 standard size with a Metashine infused PMMA resin. Each color has a fine glistening quality while maintaining transparency through the tinted demonstrator body. The 1911 model has a tapered cigar shape that has a classic appeal. Two colors are matched with the gold plated trims, which is the fried egg jellyfish and the Japanese sea nettle, while the other three are matched in silver trim. Sailor makes some of the finest nibs in the world, known for their signature tactile feel and performance. The Jellyfish Special Edition is only available in three nib sizes, fine, medium fine, and medium in 14 karat gold. You can fill up the 1911 using the Sailor proprietary cartridge converter, both of which are included with the purchase of the pen to get you started. These Jellyfish pens can be seen floating around the Gold Spot store for $325 retail or $260 street sale price. For the review of the week, I went with the impressive collection of Gary T, who had decided to get a whole bunch of Leonardo Mosaic Gold Fountain pens. So a review from Gary T reads, I like the mosaics so well that I bought them all. Beautiful pens at reasonable prices that write well and are fairly large for big hands. Beautiful colors and appear to be well made and write well. Thanks, Gary. And moving on to the pen tip of the week, we have from Purple Rose a question, what are your thoughts about shimmer inks? I want to get one, but I'm concerned that it will be hard to clean out. Also, are there pens that work better than others with shimmer inks? So we'll do a pros and cons list about shimmer inks. First, we'll do the pros. Shimmer inks add a glamorous dimension to your handwriting. There's nothing quite like seeing your handwriting on a piece of paper with shimmer ink. It just catches the light a certain way and just lights up as you're reading your handwriting. Shimmer particles within the ink accent the base color to create a multi-chromatic color. For example, you have like, let's say blue with silver shimmer, green with gold. It adds another dimension altogether to the ink itself. And the glitzy sparkle just catches the eye and makes your writing just jump right off the page. So what's there not to like about shimmer inks? We'll get there. So we're doing shimmer ink cons. So first of all, the flow of a shimmer ink tends to be a little bit on the drier side. Then it also may end up making your pen stop flowing altogether, which is kind of an issue with some inks more than others, especially ones that are super saturated as well as shimmery. And on top of that, shimmer inks can also be inconsistent too. So the shimmer particles tend to rest at the bottom of a bottle of ink, and then they will do the same thing inside of a converter or a piston filler pen, where all of a sudden you could be writing and there'd be hardly any shimmer, and then all of a sudden you pick up your pen, you write with it, and then there's a whole load of shimmer where it just like glistens and sparkles on the page. It could light up a whole entire room. There's so much shimmer in it. Then on top of that, it, because it's inconsistent, sometimes there'd be more particles on the paper and then the particles could rub off onto the other side of the page as well. So if you're writing in a notebook and you're writing with shimmer ink and then you close the notebook, not only might you, you might have some smear from one side to the other, but you would have, let's say, the shimmer particles then just start to dust all over your pages. And the last issue to speak to what Purple Rose was asking about was that they could be hard to fully clean out of a converter and feed. So then the question becomes, how does one use a shimmer ink responsibly and not make it ruin your pen? Well, first of all, I would dedicate a couple pens to shimmer inks. Here I have a Caveco Sport in Iridescent Pearl, and I figured this was very appropriate being that this pen is called Iridescent Pearl and has a whole bunch of you know, pearly swirly colors through it that this should also be a shimmer pen for me. So it's a fairly inexpensive pen, and I say that relatively speaking, but you could find an inexpensive pen that's in your collection or one that you, uh, you know you could throw a whole bunch of different inks into uh, and use that as a shimmer 
ink pen. That way you could make sure that your more delicate pens, your more expensive limited editions, do not have shimmer ink in them just in case something happens and you don't want to have it clog. And also too is one qualification that I would look for in a fountain pen for a shimmer ink is to find one that's pretty easy to disassemble. So the Caveco Sport is easy because I could just pull the nib and feed straight out of the grip section here and then rinse those individually for the feed. Sometimes the feed may get shimmer particles inside of it. So then you could take, let's say, a little bottle brush, you know, the type that, or a straw brush, the ones that you force through a straw to clean out a straw, and you could just gently brush the, the feed and remove the additional particles that are on there. So something that's easy to clean out, um, and also the, the converter on a sport piston converter here, that's pretty easy. You just kind of use it as a syringe and just pump it in and out until the, the shimmer particles are gone. Or if the converter could be disassembled, that's also another nice little bonus to get. So if you're, let's say a Lamy Safari converter could be taken apart or another converter, Standard International could be taken apart, that's also good too because then you could take apart all the pieces and clean them all out if in case they need to be fully cleaned out. And then also you'd want to find a nib of your fountain pen that actually will lay down a nice flow of ink. So I would recommend anything above a medium point, so a broad stub, uh, something that will lay down a good amount of ink. And I think that will help to be able to keep the shimmer ink flowing so that it doesn't get jammed up in your pen. And then when you're done with the fill of shimmer ink, let's say I've finished out this whole entire converter, I would immediately and thoroughly clean out the entire pen when it's empty. So before you're switching to a different color, even if you're going to fill up with the same color again, I would rinse out and clean thoroughly this entire pen. Do not let it sit unused. Do not let it sit without cleaning it because it'll just be that much harder when you do decide to go clean it to switch it to a different ink or to store it away for a long time. So speaking of shimmer inks, people who enjoy shimmer inks may feel like it's Christmas in July with the release of the individual colors that made up the Diamine Inkvent Green Edition. Back in October 2022, Diamine introduced its third Inkvent calendar with 25 new seasonally themed inks. The assortment of colors varied from the standard shading, sheening, scented, shimmering, and chameleon shimmer inks. The Inkvent calendar gave the fountain pen enthusiast a small taste of each color in a little 12 milliliter bottle. So if you got one of these sets and then swatched the entire set of colors, naturally you'll find your favorites and maybe you'd like a full bottle so that you don't run out. We polled our YouTube and Instagram followers to find out which colors they liked the most from this collection. Their top five were Serendipity, Deck the Halls, Solar Storm, Arctic Blast, and Dusted Truffle. As they had done in the past two Inkvent collections, Diamine now has each Inkvent color available individually in a 50 milliliter snowflake shaped bottle. Prices start at $17 for the standard colors and then up to $22 a bottle for the shimmery colors. Since National Ballpoint Pen Day is June 10th, I'd like to switch gears from talking about fountain pens to answer a ballpoint related question of the week. And that question of the week comes from Brian Shapiro who asks, I want to buy my husband a ballpoint pen that writes beautifully. He is currently using a Parker Jotter and it doesn't seem to write as smoothly as I recall. What do you recommend? So I know from experience, Parker ballpoint cartridges can be a little spotty in their flow and sometimes need scribbling to encourage them to write, especially after a while in the drawer. For a ballpoint pen that has a smoother, more consistent writing experience, I recommend the Caran d'Ache 849. So to segue into this week's company newsletter, we announced the arrival of the new 849 Blossom, which we think is awesome because of the gentle ombre fade from light to blushing pink. This limited edition combo includes a push-top retractable ballpoint pen and a 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil. Both instruments are shaped in a slim hexagonal profile and have a smooth lacquered finish. The mechanical pencil can be reloaded by removing the top silver button and the eraser that's underneath to access the lead chamber. At the heart of the Caran 849 ballpoint pen is the Goliath ballpoint ink cartridge. Made in Switzerland, this cartridge can write up to 600 A4 size pages with a smooth flow. 
This limited edition set can be found for $60 retail, $48 sale price on the Gold Spot website. And if pink's not your thing, you could find the 849 or the 844 pencil in a whole rainbow of colors, including fluorescent hues, starting at $18. And if the flow of the Karen Dash 849 ballpoint pen isn't smooth enough for you, then I suggest getting a Retro 51 Tornado Rollerball pen. The fluid ink lends itself to a lighter touch needed to make a bolder line on the page. Plus, there are all sorts of fun styles like this movie night pen, which will be coming soon on June 27th. This pen was designed by Alice M and is the winner of the 2022 Design a Retro 51 contest. So congrats go to Brian for submitting the question of the week. He'll get the Moonman N1 fountain pen I mentioned in the previous episode. Plus, since I know he was looking for a ballpoint, I'll also send a Karan Dash 849 pen in any color. For this week's giveaway, I have a Diamine Green Edition Ink Vent Calendar. We recently swatched all 25 colors for the photos of the individual 50 ml bottles you can now find on the website. So obviously we can't sell an ink vent calendar that we opened, used, and spilled some of the ink along the way, uh, so we're giving it away. To enter the Win the Ink Vent Calendar, you must be subscribed to the Gold Spot Pens channel, like this video, and leave a comment with a question you'd like for me to answer in a future episode. I'll pick a question to answer in the next episode, and that will be our winner. Thank you for checking out this week's episode of the Right Stuff Podcast by Gold Spot Pens. Now, go out there, put your pen to paper, and write stuff. Until next time, stay inky, my friends. Take care.